Brandenburg's Prime Minister says don't stumble in the last few meters when it comes to Tesla Giga Berlin's approval. He says I'm optimistic but we must not trip over the last few meters he said. It is now important that we continue to do everything we can with the necessary patience to let the approval process of Giga Berlin continue to run professionally. And also he said, we depend on, but above all, on Tesla itself, that a legally secure approval is available at the end of the day. Welcome back, dear friends. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. If you are here first time, please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla breaking news and ring the bell so you don't miss my next Tesla story. Tagesschau, German publication, has an interesting story published recently saying Tesla has presented the final documents. We knew about this because Tesla is one step closer now to commissioning its first European Gigafactory, Giga Berlin. The electric car manufacturer submitted the last remaining documents for the approval process. Now, will there soon be more than just test vehicles rolling off the assembly line from Giga Berlin? An important hurdle for the decision on Tesla's first European factory in Grünheide near Berlin has has been cleared. According to Brandenburg's state government, the US electric car manufacturer Tesla has submitted the documents that were still missing for the approval process. At the end of the 50th calendar week, between December 13 and 19, the outstanding documents and information were received, which formed the prerequisite for the decision on Tesla application, said a spokesman for the Environment Ministry to the German agency DPA. Now, no Note this, Tesla has done the final, per, uh, final paperwork at the end of the 50th calendar week. So, and it's, uh, be, that's between December 13 and 19, and that's uh, near Christmas. And we can't expect that the um, authorities were going to approve Tesla, which is apparently huge paperwork and huge professional work within the Christmas week or in the new year. Christmas and new year are big things in Europe as just in many parts of the world. Now, these documents would now be checked by the state office for the environment and lower uh, water authority of the other spread district among others a date for the decision can therefore not be given but brandenburg's prime minister dietmar Wojtke, as i quoted him just above says i'm optimistic but we speaking of uh, about giga berlin of course but he says we must not trip over the last few meters he said it is now important that we continue to do everything we can with the necessary patience to let the approval process of Giga Berlin continue to run professionally. And he says we depend on Tesla itself that a legally secure approval is available at the end of the day. I kind of agree with this. It's better to have a legally secure approval than we have lawsuits after approval against Tesla by some uh, environmental or other organizations. It is of no use if the approval in the end of Giga Berlin in courts fails in whole or in part. So far, Tesla has shown a tremendous speed. This was a quote, which has demanded all sides. Two years ago, there were smaller pines on the area of Giga Berlin where a car and battery factory is now being built, said Wojtke. The electric car pioneer Tesla has been building its gigafactory in Grünheide, as I have said many times, uh, with preliminary approvals. Tesla boss Elon Musk had hoped that the first cars in Grünheide could roll off the production line in December 2021. At the latest, vehicles are now being produced there, but currently only through internal tests. According to Tesla, the start of mass production of Giga Berlin was always planned for 2022. So far, the company is building its factory through several early approvals. Construction stops due to the uh, elapsed payment dates. This has happened before. The laying of sewer pipes without the permissions of the authorities, illegal coolant tanks on the plans to build a battery factory in addition to the car factory. There were several reasons for the delay in the billion dollar project in Grünheide this year. Prime Minister Wojtke is generally pushing for faster approval. I think the approval should come maybe the first uh, couple of weeks of January, but I don't know how long it will take 
for um, the authorities to do all the necessary studies to have a secured uh, approval that will not require any further lawsuits uh, against Giga Berlin. Well, friends, let me know your thoughts about this. Do you agree with all these views? This is Armin Harayan from TorqueNews.com. Please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla and electric vehicle news. Ring the bell so you don't miss my next coverage. God bless you, everyone. Peace be with you and your families. Stay well, love one another, and I'll see you soon in our next report. Let's move on to our next Tesla story. We have a very interesting news from uh, Europe about Tesla situation at Giga Berlin. Otto Christopher has tweeted this image saying breaking made in Berlin Model Y performance is in Norway for winter test. Now, do you remember yesterday I had a report that a trailer loaded with performance versions of Tesla Model Ys uh, was leaving Giga Berlin and people have taken those pictures. We did not know where they were go going, but one of the thinking that one of the ideas that we had was that these were for testing purposes. They were going somewhere to be tested. Now, these pictures may be taken yesterday or the day before, so I don't know the exact time, but it surfaced online in social media yesterday. If you haven't seen it, you can see it. But now, Otto Christopher, who tweets on Twitter, shows this picture saying this is the Model Y um, at the Tesla Center in Norway and being brought to Norway because Norway, the weather is uh, cold and that it is being tested there. Now, people ask, like, how do you know that this is Tesla Model Y made in Giga Berlin? He said the photo is taken outside Tesla Service Center in Root Oslo and people were asking about the VIN, VIN number, but he said, sorry, there is no VIN number. But people still were wondering um, about the license plate and whether this is the real uh, Tesla Model Y really made at Giga Berlin for testing purposes to be like winter tested at, in Norway. And uh, Otto Christopher shared the Im image of the uh, wheel uh, saying, the tire saying that this is um, uh, this is the uh, uh, performance version of the Tesla Model Y and Tesla Model Y performance versions are going to be built in Giga Berlin. But other people were asking about, uh, look at the number, it says GF, the license plate, it says GF and then 545E. Uh, but people were saying that M in Germany stands for Munich. We don't know GF, whether it stands for Gigafactory or something. And 545E e stands for electric vehicle. But I'm thinking that if this is Tesla Giga Berlin made Model Y, why would it have the license plate in uh, Munich, from Munich? Because Berlin is far away from Munich. Maybe it should have been like Berlin area or Brandenburg area uh, license plate. But I don't know how the regulation is in Germany regarding vehicles uh, license plates for testing purposes. But, you know, I'm asking you to take this news with a little salt of grain, with grain of salt, I'm sorry. <laughs> and uh, what do you think? Do you think this can be the Tesla Model Y that we saw yesterday and the day before that were going out of Giga Berlin for uh, testing purposes? Those were also black colors. Um, so let me know your thoughts, friends. If I don't see you today again, but I may, have a wonderful, happy new year and God bless you, everyone. Peace be with all of you. This is Armin Harayan from TorqueNews.com. Please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla news. Give us thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate. Let me know your thoughts and uh, have a wonderful rest of the day. And let's move on to our next if Tesla things story. go the way they are going right now for Tesla within two years Tesla will overtake Audi BMW and Mercedes on its way to global market leaderships here's how it will happen welcome back friends this is Armin Harayan from torquenews.com please subscribe to our channel for daily breaking and unique Tesla stories and join our community for discussions and give us thumbs up please if you find this report helpful so Twitter user JPR007 has uh, composed this chart of company reports and in this chart you're seeing that Tesla starts to close in on German premium automakers. Uh, JPR says remember that Tesla will first out overtake Audi, BMW and Mercedes on its way to overall global market leadership. Individual brands will fall fast. Porsche was already left behind some time ago. Why he 
he does think so, well, look at this chart. You're seeing that Tesla in 2020 made about half, half, a, half a million vehicles, okay? In 2020, BMW made 1,723,000 vehicles. This year in 2022, Tesla is expected to build about 2 million vehicles, and Daimler in 2020 made about 2,229,000 vehicles. And again, if Tesla goes about 2 million this year, Year, which Tesla doubled from 2020, making getting about 1 million this year. That means this year Tesla can potentially overtake BMW and Daimler and come very close to Kia. And then goes Honda, Suzuki, Nissan, PSA 2021, and then Renault GM. GM has made about 4 million vehicles in 2020. Maybe in three years, Tesla will overtake GM too. I think Tesla will very quickly get to Volkswagen level, and of course, Toyota is the leader in 2029. Why we think so? Because Tesla has just released its quarter four 2021 deliveries and production numbers. They are staggering, greatly exceeding what Wall Street thought would be delivered. Delivered. Wall Street was at 266,000 uh, vehicles. Tesla delivered about 308,000. This is amazing, isn't it? So we previously we previously reported about um, Torque News uh, prediction for Tesla quarter for 2021 deliveries, and uh, which uh, jo Jeremy Johnson from Torque News Tesla reporting team said, and we were way too low with our prediction of 285,000 vehicles, about 20,000 higher. Than than what uh, lower than what uh, what Wall Street reported. Tesla has released uh, amazing numbers for quarter four 2021, handedly beating Wall Street expectations. And uh, in the fourth quarter, Tesla achieved production of more than 305,000 vehicles and delivered of over 308,000 vehicles in 2021.